Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to talk about one of the most important elements of good health, and that is basic nutrition. A healthy diet is based on a good ratio of basic food groups. You can be a vegetarian, a vegan, or a meat eater and have a good diet if you follow some basic rules. The first thing to remember is to eat a wide variety of foods. Science is still discovering new nutrients that are important for good health. This is a work in progress, so to help ensure that you get everything you need, eat many different types of food each day. It is important to eat plenty of produce, and most of this produce should be consumed raw to ensure that you get the digestive enzymes from the food as cooking destroys them. You should strive to eat about two and a half cups of assorted vegetable and two cups of fresh fruit a day. Ensure that you, you ha eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables, green, red, orange, blue, purple, and yellow for a well-rounded diet. A special note on fruits and vegetables. In many cases, fresh frozen fruits and vegetables ha are, have more healthy vitamins and mineral content than fresh fruits and vegetables that have been sitting around for a while. Fresh is not always the best. Avoid canned fruits and vegetables. Cutting way back on gluten foods is a good idea for overall health, but you do need grains for a well-rounded diet. Whole grains, oats, rye, barley, amaranth, and a whole host of other natural grains are a good choice in this area. Avoid refined carbohydrates such as white bread and baked products and sugar, especially high fructose corn syrup. It really helps to read labels. Regular pasta and most snack foods have little or no dietary fiber and are truly empty calories. Avoid foods with added sugar, especially sodas and candy. Choose honey and stevia sweetener instead. Now it's very important that you get enough complete protein at each meal. If you are vegetarian, eggs, milk, cheese, beans, in particular soybeans, are good choices. If you're a meat eater, then all the meats are a good choice. Try to avoid meats that are not naturally grown as the toxic overload can be damaging to your health. It's important to eat a wide variety of unsalted natural nuts, in particular almonds. Fatty fish, avocados, high quality vegetable oils and butter. Coconut oil is a wonderful and healthy addition to your diet as well. Steer clear of trans fats and avoid margarines of all kinds and things like vegetable shortenings. Any oil product that is in a solid form means that it has been hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated and this is very damaging to your health. New studies have revealed a link between reducing cholesterol levels and the development of Alzheimer's the body needs cholesterol so don't worry about pl placing a cap on your cholesterol intake keep your sodium levels down excess sodium raises blood pressure in many people and has other harmful effects on the human organism it is virtually impossible to totally eliminate sodium from your diet and you shouldn't strive for this in the first place the body does need a limited amount of salt each day to function properly, but there's way too much in most processed foods. A good way to handle this situation is to eat more potassium-rich foods, such as citrus foods, fruits, bananas, potatoes, beans, and cultured milk products like yogurt and kefir. Make certain that you get enough calcium and vitamin D each day. These nutrients are vital for bone health and relaxed nerves. You should strive to get between 1,000 and 1,200 milligrams a day of calcium. Some high calcium foods are milk, cheese, dairy of all kind really. This nutrient is so important that if you can't eat enough calcium rich foods you should take a supplement, one that has a balance of calcium and magnesium. Your body will not process calcium 
with adequate, without adequate amounts of vitamin D. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin, but if you do not sunbathe every day, it may be important to supplement this. Watch your beverage consumption, in particular carbonated drinks. Carbonated drinks are very harmful to your health, and it is best to remove them from your diet completely. Switch out your soda consumption with juices or something I like to call juice water. What that is, is it's a quarter, quarter cup of juice and the rest is water. Or just drink plain water or herbal teas. Drink alcoholic beverages in extreme moderation. This means no more than one drink a day for women and two a day for men. Older people should drink even less. A drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of 80 proof spirit. In general terms, the following intake of different food groups each day will provide you with a healthy, basic diet. At most meals, have 4 ounces of a whole grain food, which in can include things like oatmeal, brown rice, and bread products made out of gluten-free grains. Include approximately 2 to 4 ounces of fats in the form of unsalted butter, a good quality olive oil, or coconut oil. Eat 3 to 5 servings, that's 6 ounces each, of fresh vegetables of all kinds each day. Have 2, 3, 3 to 4 ounce pieces of fresh fruit each day. Have 1 to 3 2 ounce servings of unsalted nuts or legumes each day. That's like peanut butter. Make sure you have 2 to 4 servings of dairy products each day in the form of milk, yogurt, kefir, and cheeses of all kinds. For meat eaters, have 2 to 4 4 ounce servings of poultry, fish, or eggs each day. One egg equals four ounces. Now for vegetarians, ensure that you get the equivalent amount of complete protein foods each day. And make certain that you drink enough water. Your body is approximately 70% water and will not function properly without a regular supply of it. You should strive to drink at least six glasses of water each day. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the extremely harmful effects of drinking sodas. Now sodas are one of the most consumed beverages in the United States, second only to water. Here in the States, Americans guzzle 57 gallons of soda per person every year. In addition to the threat of reaching obese levels, researchers also found after following 40,000 men for two decades, those who drank a sugary beverage each day had a 20% increased risk of having a heart attack. The high fructose corn syrup, which is a cheap replacement for cane sugar, has been associated with increased risk of metabolic syndrome, which leads to diabetes and heart disease. Beverage companies know the haphazard sugar cycle all too well in the United States. They spend approximately $3.2 billion in marketing each year in an effort to tempt consumers to pick up a liter of brown bubbly sugar with their pizza or a case of, of cans for their child's next birthday party. Those little children have an 80% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes if they become regular soda drinkers. Their future will be one full of kidney problems, reproductive issues, osteoporosis, asthma, and bad teeth with dissolved tooth enamel from the sodas. All in all, one of the single smartest things you can do for yourself is to completely eliminate sodas from your diet entirely. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, stay naturally healthy.